Just days after they risked their lives in a search of a better life, approximately 500 Haitian migrants who were apprehended in Bahamian waters in the last week boarded a Bahamas Air flight on Friday morning and took a short ride home. The massive repatriation exercise started around 8 o'clock on Friday in Matthewtown, Nagua, and continued until midday. In total, four Bahamas Air flights took off from Anagua International Airport. Immigration Minister Keith Bell and National Security Minister Wayne Monroe traveled to the Southern Island this morning to oversee the repatriation exercise. No resources will be spared as all involved agencies work towards addressing the situation. In the face of unprecedented levels of Haitian migrant activity that has inundated countries throughout the region, the government has taken decisive action to scale up operations. Over the last several days, the migrants were being housed at this church, Deliverance Household of Faith. When the Nassau Guardian arrived, the migrants waiting for repatriation were sitting on the floor. A foul smell emanated from the church. Church pastor Eva May Palacia said despite objections from some Anago residents, the church decided to open its doors to the migrants. Just compassion and doing what God would have us to do. Once the church was cleared, officials moved another 428 migrants into the facility. Those migrants were transported to Anago on a Defense Force vessel on Thursday. They slept on the vessel overnight. At least one pregnant woman and a few children were among the group. Royal Bahamas Defense Force Captain Glenn McPhee, who is responsible for the Southern Command, said the force has launched Operation Blue Thumb, a maritime blockade strategy which essentially blocks off the southern border. To date, we have interdicted or apprehended in excess of 1,000 irregular or illegal migrants coming to our shores. He said the RBDF has sufficient boots on the ground to ensure safety and security of residents. Meanwhile, Monroe had this warning for those considering making the perilous journey from Haiti to the Bahamas. We want to express in strongest possible terms to the citizens of Haiti that the journey by both to the Bahamas is a dangerous one and we have deployed our assets and resources to present, prevent entry into our territorial waters. The recent influx of migrants follows months of instability in Haiti after its president was assassinated in July and a deadly earthquake struck the island one month later. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Berthony McDermott.